Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true and welcome back to Subnautica, where you join me, as you can see, deep under the sea, or rather not, because now I've got a base. Oh, it's magnificent. I love my base. My base is, it's just a thing of beauty, whether it's, you know, my lovely casual room right here, my entrance hallway, my fake science room, over on that side, my lovely chill-out room, with all my toys and my bed and my posters, oh, everything is just... It's great. I love my base. My base is the best thing. And today I've got a couple of very special objectives indeed, which is one, I need to find just another pod. And obviously I've realized, yeah, I saw on the Aurora that it very specifically said, okay, there's only been a ping back from like, you know, uh, eight of the pods. So I was expecting eight pods, but that just means the pods that actually, you know, worked properly. There might be pods that didn't send a ping because they were like broken or on fire or exploded. So, okay, there might be more pods than I'm expecting. So, uh, there's one pod I don't have a location for, but I've got a bearing so I can go hunt that down. And on top of that, we need to go deeper than we've ever been before. And to do that, we're going to be needing to finally go over to the Cyclops, which I'm pretty sure we can do fairly easily. So, Plasteel Ingot, that's just uh, titanium times 10. So, okay, mix in a bit of lithium. I've got plenty of that. Enamel glass is just, yeah, three glass plus uh, three stalker teeth. Lubricant, that is just the, um, yeah, the yellow blobby things uh, from the seaweed uh, behind me. Advanced wiring kit, got all the materials uh, for that. That's nice and simple. And lead, uh, should have plenty of that too. So, uh, okay, should be able to gather that together, no trouble whatsoever. So by my estimation, we're going to be needing, yeah, 30 titanium. Now, titanium, I am a little bit on the low side, uh, just because I've been using it to, you know, build my base. So, okay, I'm just going to be needing a whole giant pile of metal, which honestly shouldn't be an issue because, yeah, I've got a couple of uh, pretty major wrecks just chilling out really nearby to me. Here we go. Look at all of this lovely trash all over the seafloor. Well, someone just needs to come clean all this up, I suppose. That's salt. That's literally the thing I didn't need. That over there, that's what I needed. Every piece of scrap metal is worth four. Everything I have scanned before and thus already know, that's worth two. So we are going to be, yeah, looking very good very fast. Naff off, Mr. Biter. Mr. Biter. Do we have to? Okay, we have to have words. Screw you. And more salvage, more scanning of stuff I don't even need, more metal. That might be enough just by itself. Yep, that should be 6 times 4, 24, plus another few right there. There were some back at base. That should be what we need. So top up that, add in... Okay, can't add in the lithium yet. I've not got enough space, so... Okay, 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 okay. This is fine. Also, it's day, so my base actually operates, which is magnificently good news. So convert all of that stuff into titanium, then turn titanium into titanium ingots. I should have precisely enough for three of those. Now grab three lithium, got plenty of that and nowhere to get plenty more. And congrats, here comes our first, no I need two lithium ago. Okay, I may or may not have enough lithium for this. Oh no, I've got just... Just enough. Magnificent. Okay, there's the plasteel. Then I need lubricant. That is a single seed cluster. Well, that's fine. They are literally just outside. Don't even need a knife for that nonsense. So, there's some. Marvellous. So, that gets me what I need right there. Lovely. Next up, enameled glass times at three. So, okay. Just need some glass for that. Hang on, that's... John, that's literally the only locker that doesn't have resources. And I've got enough quartz for that, but not enough of the stalker business. So that's fine. There are stalkers right next door. We can find some. Absolute worst case scenario. I know where there are, yeah, piles of teeth. Just uh, right by my starting pod. So, all right, just have a bit of a loopsy round. Uh, look for, yeah, nearby to titanium. If you find a pile of titanium... There's going to be teeth nearby because that's the entire bloody... There we go. That's them right there. At least there's one. Uh, okay. I was expecting to find more than one in place, but whatever. There must be more. Here we go. In fact, actually... Ooh. 
I think they get generated every time this guy actually, like... Yeah, oh, oh, okay, he's annoyed, he's annoyed, he's annoyed, he's annoyed, he's annoyed, he's... Oh, he's going from a thing, excuse me! Excuse the cock out of me! No, you cocking don't, mate, no, you don't! Right, that is enough teeth to get the rest of the glass sourced out. Meaning I just need, yeah, advanced wiring kit. I'm pretty sure I made one of those before, just to see if it generated anything else. So, uh, there we go. Nice and simple. So, I just need uh, three leads, and I should have uh, plenty of that. There we go. Two and three. That's it. That's everything we need. Spectacular. Okay, before we set off, though, don't forget, yeah, check the adventure locker. So... I might need the propulsion cannon, it's kind of useful, and I might be passing through the rad area, because I need to navigate via the aurora, so rad helmet's coming tow. But here we go, just take the old moth up to the surface, and uh, honestly, I don't really know what we're going to be doing with uh, the old girl, maybe this is her retirement day, I'm not sure. But this is it, this is the moment, and okay, it's supposed to be, oh bloody hell! Okay, um, I'm gonna be honest, I wasn't actually expecting this big, because the sea moth was uh, very small. This is, uh, it's going to make one hell of a splash in a second. Are we sure we're gonna be... Okay, we're just gonna, we're just gonna... Okay, it, it appears to be, it appears to be sinking. Is this good news? I don't know if this is good news, to be honest. Okay, this is... This is a lot bigger than I was expecting. Um, like, hugely bigger, actually, given, you know, the materials for it fit in my pockets. Right, so, uh, here we go, and... Oh, it's got its own voice and everything. So there's a diving chamber at the rear. Oh, it's got floors. Well, la da okay. So it's got its own storage systems. Oh, my. Well, that was a waste of time building a base last week. Now I've got a base I can, you know, just bring with me. So, okay, there's a giant pile of storage to the rear. Lovely. Then we have just got ourselves a ramp going up to presumably the cockpit. Right. And, oh, blimey, this thing is a little bit on the big side. Oh, bloody hell, are there more than two floors? So, Cyclops. Ooh. Okay, this is... Uh-oh. Okay, so I don't know how to make benzene. And that one at the end, I don't even know what it is. Though apparently I could launch decoys. Like, as torpedoes. That's pretty good. Shield generator depth module. Okay, so this thing can just sort of do its own business and... Ooh, it's got... Uh-oh. It's got power cells. Okay, they're just power cells. Uh, like the same thing that controls the uh, the Seamoth. And then... Wait, what's... No vehicle, Doctor. Ooh! Can I, um... Can I pull my thing in? No vehicle. Okay, I'm just gonna go get my... Uh, oh, hang on. This is the... Oh, this is the front! Sorry! I thought that end was the front. I got a bit confused. Oh, it's got internal and external lights. That's really cool. And it comes with a fire extinguisher, which is worrying, actually, because that implies at some point it theoretically could catch fire. Oh, but here's the more important thing. Apparently, we can actually make this thing... Oh. Oh, we can make it beautiful and M-A-T-N-E. Okay, so it should now be hot purple and called the Mighty John. Spectacular. And Oh, it's got a radar and everything. How deep can this thing go? 500. Engine is currently offline. Um. Okay. How do I... Oh, bloody hell. Can I... Can I turn it on? Oh! Oh, blimey. Okay. This thing's got a cocky warm-up sequence. So then I can put it into... Ahead flanked. Emergency speed. Emergency speed. Right. Ahead standard. And then alternatively... Ahead slow. Okay. So... Slow mode, normal mode, etc. If I just walk away... Okay, this thing is... This thing's complicated. Well, I need to go get the sea moth. I might be able to bring that girl with me. Oh, she's magnificent. All right, they'll never see her coming. Oh, it even says the Mighty John on the side. Yes. 
Yes, can we dock? Ooh! Ooh, flip me. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, try I'm trying to dock. I'm trying to dock. We've been brought into... I'm being brought into dock! Okay. Uh, life is good and I'm now happy. So, uh, decoy loading tube. So we need to... Ah! I need to make one of those decoy things. Uh, so if I do that, okay. I see. I see, I see, I see. Now we have got... What's that? That is the... Oh! I'm guessing that's how we change the, um, the power cell or something. And yeah, this old girl runs on six different power cells. Uh, and... Uh, okay, the energy seems to be ticking, ticking down, actually, which is... Okay, hang on. Why is that happening? Did I leave it on by mistake? Okay, turn off all lighting. If I turn off... Okay, that doesn't really help in a whole bunch of ways. But if I turn off lighting, does that mean it is now consuming zero power? All right, check. Yes, okay. Power is now non-existent. Okay. What if I just have the internal lights on? Because I'd like them to be able to just, like, you know, run. That'd be good. So, yeah, just internal lighting. If we're lucky, maybe that one's free. That is not free. Just having the lights on is apparently... Okay, so this thing is just going to eat energy all day, every day. Gotcha. Because the engine needs to be running to make the lights work. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. That's... Well, that's not fine, but we're just going to have to make do. Okay, turn lights off. We're just going to drive her without lights on internally. Okay, just need to figure this uh, figure this out here. So, yeah, 95% power. Put her into slow mode. I mean, I see health. I don't know what that other one is. Then we have got... Hang about. What even is that? Oh, it's a camera. Okay, I've got, like, cameras. That's sexy. Then I have got silent running on. So, oh, okay, stealth mode. That might be good for not being eaten, but bad for, you know, power. Okay, so this here, this is nice. This is all lovely. I assume it, like, broadly handles the same. So, like, up and, uh, yeah, up and down. And, oh, blimey, I actually need to look around uh, to figure out what's going on. Okay, maybe we don't use this girl for everything because... Oh, I've got a horn! I feel like that's just asking something to come and eat me. Maybe we don't do that anymore. So, okay, this thing is... It is unwieldy in a way. So, all right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Go down and... Wait, what is the... Is that power usage? That might be power usage, what I'm actually uh, asking for right now. So just head in this direction. And I can't, I can't cocking see. Okay, you know what? I'll accept the lights being on. That's, that's fine. Maybe we'll just have the lights on. Though, actually, that's a good point. Because now I am pulling forwards, backwards, left and right, and looking around is actually looking around, that suggests this thing can't be made to go... Yeah, it can't do a steep dive or ascent. It needs to just go up and down as fast as it can do. So, John, you're going to the island, which isn't where you're supposed to be going. We're supposed to be going to. There we go. I lost track of that. Okay. Just move in this direction. We're going towards the island right now. So, okay. Okay, okay, okay. And yeah, getting out of this thing to go exploring is uh, trickier. I feel like this is a girl we only bring along if we're really, really cocking sure. Like, you know, we need to go deep. Because uh, for the most part, she's going to be more trouble than she's worth, I suspect. Okay, depth is still 42 meters, but this looks... Oh, what? What was that? I might have hit something, I'm not sure. I don't remember these bits. Okay, like little spindly fingers. And I can't really... I can't... Oh, okay, just be careful. I am I might be a bit bigger. Yeah, I'm bigger than I'm expecting to be right now and I cannot I cannot say I cannot bloody say um 
There's no one. I do have cameras. Okay, I need to actually go over to the cameras to... Oh, hang on. Am I still in control? I'm... I am! I can still be in control. Okay. Uh, which camera is for the better? That's not bad. That's kind of useful, actually. Okay. I can use this camera to see what's coming up ahead and below. This actually gives me better visibility than I've got. So, okay. Using the different cameras, that's definitely good. So, uh, ahead and above... Uh, Ahead and below. Alright. Continue descending. We'll use the keel cam for now. Just keep your eyes open. We've never been this deep before. I think I just hit something. Uh, wait. Where's the... Which way am I facing? Oh, that's the front of the submarine. Okay. that That's the front of the sub. Okay. That would explain I was driving sideways. Okay. Just go down. Go down. I think I just hit something again. I don't have the damage report here. Alright. And I don't know how deep I am. At uh, this camera, I don't have uh, that information. It's all a bit suspiciously empty over here. So that is the... Ah! That's right by the engine. Or the screw, apparently. That's the conning tower. That's the keel. Okay. So yeah, now I'm up here, and oh bloody hell, this is... This is tricky. Uh, power at 85%. I'm already down 15%. This thing just eats power. Okay, I really need the cameras. The cameras are definitely important. I'll stick with keel cam for now. Now I'm supposed to be going... Hmm. I'm supposed to be going there. Then it feels to me... Like, I might be going into this hole right here. Because last time we ran into these guys, they were in a... Oh, I just hit something. Okay, this is this is fine. This is fine. It's over. Yeah, this is it. This is it. We're going in. We are going in. There might be stuff to, to scan. Can I turn the lights on and... Oh, I just hit something. I'm hitting several things, actually. Okay. Um, where am I supposed to be going? Possibly over... I can't... Maybe that's like a distance alert. Sorry, I'm still learning how to drive this thing. It's quite... Quite tricky, actually. Uh, just just go down. Go down. Check the, the rear. It looks like I've got some clearance on the rear. Oh, this is... This is tricky. This is going to be... I definitely just hit something. Uh, haha, this is, this is fine. Check that. Yep, okay. P pull her forward. Pull her up a little bit. Pull her up. Okay, uh, how on earth am I supposed to check that? Okay, now I'm ramming something. Okay, um. I'm not convinced this. Oh, hang on. Well, there's something going on down over here. Um, am I taking damage over time consistently right now, by the way? There's... Well, there's bleeping. There's definitely bleeping. Health looks pretty good. All things considered. Okay, I'm just going to go out and have a little bit of a look-see, like, by myself. Because I'm feeling like, at this point, honestly, I'm going to do better without you, you stupid bastards. Okay, oxygen should be fine. I'm wearing the rebreather. Just to confirm, yeah, I've crashed the sub. Definitely crash the sub. Now you look a lot like the architecture of, uh, yeah, the um the aliens. And that is power cell charger. Okay, I could do with one of them. Uh, not gonna lie, could definitely do with uh, one of those bastards. And a Reginald. That's a cute name. Okay, that's just lovely. Uh, okay, can I alien vent? Give it a scam. So we got that implies that something is underneath here, right? Ancient piping network. So, okay, it's drawing water and pumping it somewhere else. Warm, deoxygenated water is being expelled. Most creatures are avoiding it. Peepers are entering and exiting. Okay, does that mean I can just go in? And the answer is no. Maybe if I could break it somehow, then it would be possible. But for the time being, no. And yeah, we've got these massive crystal things, but I can't do anything to them. 
not for now. And okay, you are a uh, gel sack. We need you to make the aerogel business. So okay, hang about. Just get my bearings here. Where's the where's the yellow jibble? Where's that gone? It's way over there. Still a long way away. Oh, there's oh oh hello hello what? what was that? Oh, sorry, it was one of them prawn things that just stabs you. Uh, okay, so, oh, bloody hell, well, this isn't working. No, none of this is... This is not working at all. I'm not sure we're getting through here. Um, hmm. No, I'm, I'm not sure that's working at all, actually. I'm not sure this submarine fits. Okay, if we're supposed to be going over there, let's just scout out if this is even the right way to, uh, to go. Because it might not be. So I'm just going to go in this direction, just as is. I'm going to be needing a torch for this nonsense. Uh, give me a torch, please. Thank you. Just so I can see. Oh, is that a ruby? That's a ruby! I should have scanned that, but whatever. And oh, there's more of those bastards. Okay, and another one too. Okay, so it looks like this actually isn't the right way after all, and I'll take a gel sack. So, okay, that there, that's to aerogel. Uh, so just avoid all of you. Rubies might just be randomly at the bottom. I'm not sure, but this feels like I'm not going the right way. I think I've just taken my sub, in fact, into, like, a hole. And I found an interesting thing, but it's not the thing I'm supposed to be finding. No. No, it's not. Okay, let's just get her back up and hope I've not banged her up too badly. Okay, power at 84%. Uh, all rise. All rise. Just, just, oh, bloody, bloody hell. It's, it, it's fine. Um, maybe use, use the cameras, uh, for this. That's not the right camera. That might be the right camera. Can we just bring her up a little bit? Just turn. Turn. Up. Avoid. Okay, we're out of the, um, the hole. That there was not the right way to go. No. Okay, turn to starboard. Let's just get ourselves moving back in the right direction. It is now night. I am significantly underwater. Retrospect, I don't actually like that fact. I don't like any of this fact. I don't like the fact it's it's now really dark. If I sound the horn, do you think I'm more or less likely to be, like, eaten? Because I'm now... Oh, I'm 198. I'm not even that deep down. John, you're fine, you coward. Okay, looks like I'm now moving towards the edge of a ravine. Possibly. Uh, okay. Yeah, that is... Wait, is that... Is that backwards? Is that the, the back or the... No, that's the back. Okay, so... I'm now looking forwards. And there she is. Okay. Bring her forwards and bring her down. And just bring her down into... Oh, uh! It's fine. It was just a tiny fish I rammed. There's stuff down here. Bioluminescent stuff. Which is honestly not the worst thing in the world. Just bring her down. Nice, calm, careful. Just bring her in. We should be straight above their base. Though their base may be in a cave system. The last one was. So they picked up a signal. And that signal made them decide to come here. Now, I've picked up a signal too. Like, you know, the wibbly wibble straight into my brain. I may not have detected the same thing. I've also got weird bioluminescent balls down here. But, you guys, the electric, uh, yeah, stingrays or whatever, you guys are pretty chill. I've never had a problem with you whatsoever. Okay, back to, uh, yeah, back to where I should be, please. Depth, 325. Okay. So, they're still, they're now behind me. And, okay... 239 meters away, but I am 175 meters in depth off. So in which case, how are we going to get to you? You guys are 
well hidden on this occasion. Right, just go to that. Well, there's plenty more down yet. Let's just head down. I'm going to say, that was just a fish. It's fine. Keep going down. I'm going to say keep going down. Oh, blimey. Um, can the sub... Can the sub fit in there? Maybe I should scout that out before taking the sub down. Seek fluid intake. And apparently I also need a drink. So okay, that's that's fine too. That's a good excuse to, to not go any further right this second. Alright, I brought water. I brought loads of it. Maybe I should have brought more, to be honest. But, uh, but okay. Just, you know, I brought some food. Anyway, oh, I definitely should have brought more food than what I brought. Okay, I'm gonna scout this out here. If I just go down into this hole, I kind of wish I had the sea glide right now. Oh, blimey, what the cock is that? It's a giant sea spider. Can it swim or is it just crawling? And there's those stupid warpy boys. Okay. Okay. Okay, if I just stay up here. It can swim. They can swim. They can swim. All right. It's fine. Bloody hell. These idiots. We're just like, oh, you know what? No, we're not going to stay on our tropical island covered in fruit. No, what we're going to do is we're going to build a base in the middle of the cocking sea spider, electric stingray, and teleporting dick bastard cave. Oh, no, 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 no. What the shit is this? Ank pod. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't... No, 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 no. It's an octopus. No, 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 no. Oh, good. Those dicks are following me too. Uh, does anyone know where the... Okay, I need to go back and... I need to bring the sub down here. Is it actually going to fit? I mean, it might do. It's going to be tight, but I think it might. Yes. Can't bring the sea moth down, uh, down in this direction. That's, that's not going to work. Okay. If I rotate it a bit, I think I can make it fit. Just. But I don't, I don't like this game anymore. Okay. I wasn't expecting spiders. All right. I thought we'd be okay with no spiders in the cocking sea game. Okay, just bring her over in this direction. And now just start bringing her down like this. She should just about... She's already crashed. Okay, up. Back a little bit. Back, back. Back a little bit. There's no There's no back. Okay. Uh, down. Just, just turn, turn up. She's not going to fit, is she? Oh, no. Not not a cooking chance is she fitting in here. This is just going to be my launching off point. But the sea moth can't... The sea moth can't do a thing. Unfortunately, I don't have the sea glide with me. So, okay. I need to scout out if there might be another entrance or exit to this cave. Because uh, if there's any sign of another way in, we need to take it. I need to find... Okay, there's another one right over there. Immediately to the to the front of the submarine, there's... Is that bigger? It looks like it might be a bit bigger. Okay, just take the sub forward, then turn her around. Because otherwise we're kind of screwed. Right, up, forward. I am aware of the trouble. Yes, now just... Bring her over here. Now, by the Luxie of it, there should be another hole right here. Alright, and I want to be going backwards, so... I mean, live in a hope this one's big enough. Just bring her around here. Turn her around. Bloody hell, I'm not a fan of the Cyclops. I was happier just in my nice little nippy mini. Alright, careful. Careful. Bring her in. Bring her down. And see if we can squeeze her in. But honestly, I'm not feeling like... No, that's that's not going to fly. There's not a chance in... Oh. Oh, yeah. Squeeze her in. I don't know if she's getting back out again. But I think we might have just 
this is not how she's supposed to go. This this is not how you're supposed to be driving her, but we've got her in. Okay, this this is fine. She might be stuck here now. I might need to build a new Cyclops. But that's fine. It's pretty easy to build the old one. So, if need be, screw... I do not like those spiders. I do not. Okay, I'm under attack, apparently. Um, the fact I'm big is not enough to make them think, no, I don't want to do this. Uh, so that's fine. I say that's fine. This is not fine. This is, this is all very bad news. Okay. Am I currently under attack? I do not appear to be. Switch over to lower camera. Oh, they're just swarming around this thing. It looks to me like that there is the entrance. I seriously do not appreciate the brain spiders. I do not. Bring her in a bit closer. Uh, the exits at the front. Let's just drop out and then get inside. Uh, like, immediately. That might be the entrance, actually, over there. And, well, that's definitely an entrance. Okay, that'll do. That's gonna have to do. How's the health going, by the way? Oh, there's plenty of health. It's fine. It's all fine. Aside from the fact we're being attacked. Okay, we're under attack right now. Other than that, it's all it's all as it should be. Let's let's get out and I should not have come here. Um, as the tape said, they don't want us here. Right, knives out. Oh good, knives. Great. I'm glad we've got a knife. We're going in, we're going the cock in and just get into get into get into safety. Get into it's not safe. It's not safe. It's not safe. It's not safe in the slightest. Maybe I could scan this dick from here. Oh, I don't like this. So far, I think I've been emotionally dealing with this game pretty bloody well. This is the point where I've decided I can't deal with it anymore. Uh, okay. Uh, scanner. Anything that needs what was that? There was something big outside. Maybe it was just a boomerang fish and I'm going bananas. Coffee vending machine! Well, the trip's all worth it. It's all fine. There we go. I know how to do that now. Then there's... Yep, stuff. Okay, we're gonna read that later. Take this. Give me information. Swim charge fins. Open storage. That's empty. That's just a bag. I don't need that at all. I know how to do that. Oh! Okay. There's something bad here. Now, there was definitely an up in this place, right? I definitely saw an upstairs. So, I've got... I've got something. They are not happy with me being here. Not, not happy. Somebody is here. They're really angry. Oh, I don't know what's happening, but it's wibbly. Okay, I'm going to make a run for the, the ship just to top up my oxygen. And just, no, jump, jump, jump. On board. Okay, uh, this is fine. There's more here. Yeah. Oh, ha, 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 ha. No, no, no. Scan it, 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 scan it. Okay, it's not actually biting me. It, it's like going. I'm unpowered. Oh, this is not the cocking time. Okay, this is. Ah, 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 there's one. There's another one. It's closer. 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 It's crab squid. I don't like it. I think it's. Has it got an EMP burst? Is that what it does? That might be what it's doing. I think it's got like an EMP burst. Okay, this is this is fine. I need to find a way in to the rest of the the structure. That's that's intact. Uh, there must be a hole somewhere. Otherwise, how do I get to the the rest of it? Just keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Occasionally, panic and just return to yourself. I seriously do not like those. Okay, seriously, I can literally see there's there's things here. Okay, I see ya. I wouldn't mind scanning you, buddy. Stay out the way. Maybe they just do that little EMP thing and that's all they want to do. Because if that's all they want to do, that's kind of... Oh, that's it. That'll be the uh, that'll be the way in. In we go. Okay, cool. Alien containment. Alright, they were monitoring something. And the radio wants to say hello. Okay, grab everything. So, disaster. Alright, whatever happened, we're going to be able to find out soon. They were trying to monitor something, but yeah, okay, we'll, we'll read all of this later. Open more data, and shield generator. That I feel like we need, yes. The Cyclops is definitely under attack right now. Right, 
downstairs to the next floor down. More fake science. Grab all of this risk taking. That might have been the lot, right? And that's non-functional. That is orange tablet. Okay, well, I've got purple tablets. I've never seen orange before. That's that's new. None of that works. I see these guys have got themselves a, uh, yeah, a fake science area too. Is that it? Because if I go back up here, then there were the two side rooms. I think I've got it all. And that means it's time to get the flip out of here. Like, now. 30 seconds. Where are they? I wouldn't mind scanning them on the way out. Just, just where I... Okay. Buddy. No. We're going to be friends. We're going to be friends. We're going to be friends. I'm just going to scan you. I'm 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 going to scan you. Then I'm going to get the flip out of here. Go. 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 Before it bites your face off. Okay. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't like it. I don't like it. We're going. We're going. We're going. Bye. All right. I, I regret coming here. Uh, the ship is, is kind of, it's, it's fine. Turn her around. I can't turn around. Okay, I need to, I need to lower, dive, dive, turn. I need to get the flip out of dodge. This whole time I've been going slow, by the way. Uh, bring her up, bring her up. Does anybody know where the exit is? Because I cocking don't. Oh, there's one. There's one in front of me. Oh, you want to play, do you? You want to cock and play? Go, ram it. Yeah, screw you, you stupid deck. Okay, at this point, I do not know how to leave the cave. I'm I'm ramming a whole bunch of stuff. I believe I have turned around. I do not... Ow! I do not see the exit. There's, there's something going on up there. Okay, honestly, going up strikes me as a good thing. All right, just if if we can go, go up... I am completely not in control of the sub right now. I'm just sort of, uh, I'm ramming her upwards, uh, which is, oh, ho, 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 no, no. I think I might be going into something worse, actually. What is that? How big is that? Was that shark big or leviathan big? Because I don't know. Okay, turn her away. Turn her away from that direction. I don't know whether I'm... Am I even still in the cave? I mean, I'm seeing open, like... Well, not sky, but you know what I mean above me. Okay, attempt to ascend. Just keep going up until such time as I hit a ceiling. Because I think I might have accidentally left the cave. Sonar is showing no enemies nearby. I think... That's the surface. Okay, we're never going there again. We are never going there again. Alright, next time we need to... What is that? That's... I don't know what that is. There's something over there. I, d I don't know where I am. Oh, hang on. Am I by the island by any chance? I must be close by-ish to the island. Oh, I'm close by-ish to the island. Okay, the island's fine. Me and the island are super chill. So in the end, they set up their base, yeah, really, really nearby to where they started. Okay, this is, this is fine. This is, this is all A-OK. -okay. This is absolutely no trouble whatsoever. You know what? I'm passing by the island. I'm gonna top up my food while I'm actually passing by because there's, there's a lot of food on the island. Okay, after all of that, power appears to be at 81%. We have lost some, but honestly, not much health. I'm going to call that a win. But yeah, now I know how to make the shield generator. I just need that polyaniline. I don't know what that is. I don't know how to make it. So if I see anything unusual in the water, just grab it. We need it. Also, it's going to be really annoying if it turns out the only way to get it is to kill those bastard spider crab things. Right, that's a good point. Before I forget, check the notes. All right, we've just had a whole bunch of notes come in. Okay, update number seven. They got sick. Same thing that's affecting us. We know about that. Number eight, they brought home a leviathan. Now, I don't know what that means precisely. Is leviathan just like a class of enemy? Like if they're really big, they're leviathans. Or does that mean specifically... Snakey McGee from nearby to the Aurora. 
Well, in either case, yes. She killed one, brought her home to study. She kept bringing Bart's subjects to study down in the base down the bottom, but eventually, yes. Unfortunately, something attacked the base, and then they all died. Okay, nothing too dramatic. We now know what happened to them, but we also know how to make some advanced technology. Love it. In fact, you know what? I think I'm going to save myself the time and just head home at this point. I don't need to go up onto the island. Just uh, set a bearing for... That's the island's beacon, isn't it? Yeah, just turn her in this direction and head over here back towards John Base 1. Lovely. Oh, and hang about. Hang about, hang about, hang about. I just jumped out of... Oh... I just jumped out in the Seamoth, and its battery is fully charged. I think that thing charged the Seamoth. Okay, that might be why its power went down so fast at the start. Possibly the power drain isn't as intense as I think it is. It's just, yeah, it was being drained by recharging the Seamoth. Okay, back to base. I've got plenty of water, but this thing keeps making salt. More salt than I need. So, let's set up a nice trash can right next to it. Because trash cans would appear to let me put things in that are therefore immediately destroyed. So, if I just put the salt in here, does it just disappear? There we go, it does. Okay, so it just deletes itself. Marvellous. So now the salt could just be dumped into there. Love it. And uh, don't forget, I've got a couple of rubies. Spectacular. Still, lesson learned for next time. Make sure you actually, you know, bring along enough stuff. Because I did not have enough food down there. That was almost a bit dicey. Still, here we go. I can make myself more aerogel. I'm going to be needing some of that sooner or later. So we've now learnt how to make alien containment. If I want to, then I can, yeah, start growing my own stuff. Though I'm not sure what the difference between that and an aquarium is. Possibly this is for big stuff. Also, seriously, do not forget to at some point build... A a radio. We need a radio in this place. It's kind of important. So, uh, how about right about... That looks pretty good. Because uh, I'm pretty sure we've got... Yeah. We've got someone trying to uh, get in touch anyway. Might well be another pod. This is Life Pod 2 coordinates attached. We're way past our safe depth and bleeding O2. We'll have to swim for the surface, but it's 500 meters straight up. We'll make for the rendezvous and keep you posted. Out. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Okay, that was you. She's been mentioned before in a note on the Aurora. In fact, we know her um her birthday. I believe it was the 16th of August because it was marked in a note, uh, 1608 if I recall correctly. So, okay. May well go and uh, visit her at some point. And that one, we do have a signal. So, okay, would appear to be, that's the mushroom forest, appears to be located, uh, yeah, to the right of that from this location at the edge of the kelp forest. So, uh, that doesn't seem so bad, but you know what? I've had enough bloody uh, cyclops for the time being, so uh, I'm not going there right now, definitely not. And here we go, scanner room. So, uh, with this, I have... Uh, Resources and wrecks in range. Okay, that's pretty badass, it must be said. Though I feel like if I'm going to add more to this base, I'm going to need to uh, reinforce it a bit. Because I kind of want to add more windows, but it is slowly increasing the risk of it exploding. Also the radio is... Oh, bloody hell, there's even more on the radio. Hang about. Playing partially translated broadcast. Destroy. Unaccounted for one. Okay, that's presumably the lads who wibbled me in the brain and who set up the massive space gun. But if they're still around, then why precisely weren't they in their own base? Why was that completely unguarded? Why is all their technology distinctly abandoned looking? Here we go, I've moved on the solar panels, because I feel like if I've got a scan thing, 
and I want a scan thing, it really ought to be, like, you know, up here on the top of my base. So I'm going to build a ladder to get up to it. It's going to be marvelous. Okay, so the whole strength is definitely going down. Okay, maybe I'll just go and grab a little bit of lithium and slightly reinforce the base. Here we go. We'll reinforce this bit of the science room for some reason. And that's going to give me... Oh, plus seven. Okay, now we're fine. Now the base isn't going to explode. Also, I'm going to be honest. I was kind of assuming that the, um, the two areas would be connected. Um, right, I may need to rethink this. Because I don't see a way of connecting the vertical connector. Which I kind of assumed would be the thing you needed to connect things, you know, vertically. But it doesn't seem to be... Okay, it's fine. It can just go here. Right? Can it go over? Yes, it can go over here. Then again, that's kind of... It's kind of in the way. But if I put it here, then it's going to be completely off the side of... Oh, Dear. Um, I need to think about this. Oh, I didn't realise this, by the way. Apparently, I now know how to make, um, orange tablets. I just combine ion cubes with nickel ore. I've not seen any nickel so far, so, okay, must be either so deep or so far away, I've just not been up to it yet. Okay, I'm just gonna put the scanner room here, because by the looks of it, you can't have vertical within a room. If I want to have vertical... The only spot I can find that works is, say, on this sort of location. But these rooms aren't actually connected together like that. They're connected together... Okay. Okay, okay, okay. This is fine. I think I've got a solution here. Because I was meaning to maybe make a, uh, a small tweak to this arrangement anyway. You see, I never really wanted to have this little tunnel be as it was in the first place. No, that was just a compromise. What I really wanted was a, a big glass tunnel. Yes, 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 yes. Now, I am aware this is catastrophically bad for hull integrity, but I slapped a bit of reinforcement on the rear, so it's fine. So we're just going to shovel that... I mean, I can't do... Oh, sorry. I need to actually make the glass before I can use it. Yes, I'd forgotten about that bit. Here we go. This should now work better. And if I've got this right, what I should be able to do now is, assuming I'm allowed to even go this far off, is I'm going to extend it an extra cell in this direction so my scan room isn't really, like, you know, in the way at all. I should still have the materials for... Hang about. There we go, because, yeah, that's enameled. Uh, Nothing else. So just slap that down over there. My base should now be... Okay, it's holding at 4.3. It's fine. And now my observation room is even more observationary, right? The corridor going to it is observationy. What more could you possibly want? There you go. Still lovely. Nice little introduction to it too. And I've got a scan room. I don't know why I need a scan room, but I've got a scan room. Does anybody know what the scan room... Ooh. Okay. I've no idea what this means, but I am so down for it. Oh, so here we go. I tell it I want to scan for metal salvage. It shows me where there's metal salvage. I now know there's some... Yeah, behind me and off to the right. Significantly behind me. Oh, now this. This I can deal with. This is very cool. And I've even got cameras. Also, I'm going to build a uh, bioreactor in my science room. Well, my fake science room. But, you know, there's actual science going on now. So, I don't really know how this thing works, really. But I assume I, like, give it, I don't know, anything biological and it makes power, right? Right, let's start it off with a bit of plant matter. And then a very unfortunate fish. All right, we'll give both of them a go and see which, if either, it likes. So power is now uh, 108 and sort of struggling, but, you know, that's in the daylight. Now let's just, you know, uh, toss that in there. And active. I mean, it's going woobly-wooble. Is that helping? I don't know if that's helping, 
bioreactor, charge. Okay. And it composts anything into... Alright, what about a fish? If I give you a fish, is that good enough? Well, it seems to be doing something. So, okay, there we go. Let me just look at my entirely real microscope. Yep, that's energy, alright. Good, 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 good. Hooray for me. So yeah, with a grav trap outside and the kelp forest nearby, I should be able to just feed this thing plant matter all day. And that there, that is a nice, easy source of energy at night. Lovely. I mean, at the bare minimum, additional power production leads to additional battery capacity. So that should hopefully give me a lot more power left over for, you know, during the evening. Because yeah, power production things seem to function as capacitors as well, kind of. Okay, one last bit of hopefully not drama today. Life Pod 7. They called in for help some time ago. Let's see what we can do. So, we don't know what's going on, but they said problems with fabricator sunk to 200 meters, low ecological activity, one kilometer southwest of the stern of the Aurora. And I've checked, stern means arse. So, okay, that there. That seems possibly where Snakey McGee lives, but we'll have to see. I'm not going to take the giant sub, I'm just going to take my little light lad and we'll see what's going on there. And slap on the rad helmet because yes, we're going to be getting nearby to the Aurora. Now admittedly, I could just try and work around this problem by instead of going to the stern and working out because I know there's trouble around the stern, instead, go to a location where, if I am facing the arse of the Aurora, it is uh, to the northeast. That might be the better option. Okay, well, I'll give you. I don't have an exact bead on uh, where the, uh, the Aurora is, but I must be in uh, broadly the right location, because this architecture say architecture that's completely the wrong word that looks about right so okay whole bunch of that stuff 200 meters down eyes open because very often when they tell you to go find these pods you're not really looking for the pot you're looking for other stuff that's in the same area that's interesting that you might not have seen before. All right, watch out for the big old sharks. 200 meters, so I'm about 30 meters too high up at the moment. All right, I see you, buddy, I see you. All right, no trouble, no trouble at all. And now this isn't quite right. All right, just stay away from him. Because now the rocks don't match. So, okay. Don't do that. And actually, yeah, going over there, the colour scheme changes to orange. Which I think is uh, Snakey McGee zone. So, aha! There we go. Found her already. I am getting good at tracking down pods. And, as far as I can tell, uh, no trouble. No trouble at all. So, okay. Pod 7. I know, I know, I'm not wearing the right thing. Toy car! Yes! It was worth it. I've got a new toy. Spectacular. This might be really sad, by the way, because this might indicate, hey, there were, like, you know, children here. I'm guessing this is either the dev or, like, the person who donated the most of the Kickstarter, however this game was funded. Well, I'm not seeing much going on here, to be honest. I mean, always keep your eyes open in this part of the world. Immediately surrounding crashes uh, is very often stuff. So, oh, it's just a tiny fish. It's fine. So just give a looksy roundy. There's a big old shark over there. That's fine. I'm not seeing much evidence of uh, debris. That might be a cave over there. I do enjoy a cave. Okay, caves are often nice and fun. What's going on here? What's the point of this area? And by the way, are you... Oh, uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. I feel like the sharks don't like me being in here. But if I'm in my pod, they seem mostly chill. 
So I'm seeing a few bits of generic metal. This area does not seem too exciting. Really, though, that looks interesting. That looks interesting. Oh, ow, 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 dick. He was just waiting for a chance to do that. Scanner room. I've literally already got that. Maybe we get back in the thing. Okay, maybe, maybe we don't worry about this. Okay, if it's scanner room around here, we've got that. Literally just built it. Not gonna deny it is cool. Completely unnecessary to be honest, but like, you know, still cool. So, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I don't see anything major going on around here. I think it might be time to, yes, head back home. Though, on the way back, I've just stumbled across some uh, debris right over there. So, thermal. Might be able to wrap that up. I think I'm close by to the same biome where we saw... I'll take you, by the way. Never say no to uh, some water. Yeah, that same area where I ran into... Oh, blimey. Okay, sorry. This is... This is more than I thought, though, hang on, can I put my my normal helmet on? Okay, there's no rads here. That's good. There are no rads. Uh, okay, top up the oxygen. We've got a proper wreck here. Oh, yeah, the fact I didn't see this immediately. Really kind of, uh, yeah, burying, uh, okay, fine. Everything's under control. We're gonna find what we need. That looks sort of interesting, by the way. That's scanner room yet again, right? That's fine. Scanner room just means uh, giant piles of uh, free titanium, which I shan't say no to. Lights on. Power's getting a bit dicey. I may or may not have a spare battery here. So straight through here. Oh, I struggle to navigate these bastards. Okay, then straight down over here. That often leads... Yeah, that's back outside. So that's now... Oh, bloody hell. Okay, then back over to here. Turn this way. Can this door be... That door can be cut open. I've got my thing. Okay, good. We have got something good here. I always love it. We've got... No. Down. Cut the... You're using the wrong tool, John. Though, I understand why they do look rather similar. Right. Crack this open. There's gotta be something good going on here. Aha! Data box. Ooh, a new module, and a thing for the for the prawn, which I haven't bothered building yet. And also, I need my I need my cocking scanner again, please. Actually, okay, upgrade for a thing I haven't built yet. Never gonna say no to uh, to that either. Just have a little bit of a Luxy Roundy, Luxy Roundy Mori. Can I cut that? I don't think so. I think that's it. Okay, just get through. Over here, that's not... That can also be cut. Okay, then round over to here. Round over to here. And then over to... There we go, we're fine. Everything's under control. And there is another door in the same area. Unfortunately, I suspect this just leads back outside. Because often uh, there's a way in from either direction. But I'm not going to not cut it open. I say that I'm about to run out of power, aren't I? Yes, yes I am. And I have got... Okay, I've got one very weak battery. I need to make some more batteries. And I suspect this is just going to lead to me... No! This is more good stuff. And now I've got... Oh, I've got like... Okay, I've got like a second of power in here. And wait, was this... Was this actually... Wait, where on earth am I? I can't cocky see any more because I'm out of everything. Where the... Okay, this was a bad time to, to run out of battery, actually. I, I don't know where I am. Oh, okay, hang about. I think I found... I think I found something good around the back, but I think I might be about to die. Swim fast up. Swim fast up. Swim, swim fast up. Swim, get in the thing. Whew. Okay, I actually found something good, but it wasn't actually in the dark area. I just managed to sneak out the back, and there was a data cache around the back that contained the depth module for the, uh, the cocking cyclops, which is definitely what we need. That there, that's a cocking priority. And that is another prawn suit thing. Well, okay, this wreck's just been brilliant for me. Just keep on scanning. There's two drill arm fragments for prawn suit. There we go. I now know how to drill, and I suspect that's how we 
yet access all of the McJibbles. I've been seeing, like, you know, giant piles of various metals that I can't access, even with the, uh, the lace cutter. I suspect, drill arm on a prawn, that'll do ya. Okay, now this thing. This thing has been a little god's ow, bloody hell. And it's not done yet either. There's a whole bunch of stuff up here. So, thermal plant up top. Just keep on scanning. Okay, now I know how to turn lava into electricity. And there's even, just randomly in the middle of nowhere, a ruby. Which I'm going to be scanning because I don't really see these very often. And when I scan them, I might learn where they are. And no, it does not actually tell me how to find them. But okay, I found a few. We're fine. And there we go. There's that depth module. So, uh, Plasteel. Know how to make that. That's not too difficult, really. I just need uh, three rubies, and I can take this thing down further. And if I can get to 800 odd meters, uh, I believe uh, that was the depth of, uh, yeah, the um, research lab that the aliens had. So, okay. That, that, that's got to be an objective. Right now, I need bloody rubies. And crucially, most crucially of all, we have now got a brand new toy for my toy shelf. Marvellous. Yep, there it is. Alien facility, disease research, cave system extensive fossil record, southwest of enforcement platform. So go to the big space gun, know where that is, then just go, yeah, follow the directions there, 800 meters down. Now I can't get there yet, but three more rubies, we've made it. And what do we know about rubies? Well... Not much, but we do know they tend to show up in the deep. And uh, what do I need to do right now that's in the deep? Well, it's CTOU. So, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I would say, ladies and gentlemen, that's enough for now. Next time, I am taking the Cyclops out for another spin. Hopefully, it's going to be less terrifying this time. And yes, we're going to go down to that life pod. I need to get myself another couple of rubies and uh, at some point I need to return to the island uh, to pick up more lithium because yeah I'm kind of running out of that and I've not really seen much of it around John. Lithium comes from shale you know that the shale in the caves are right next to you. Okay that's fine. Lithium's okay. Rubies however that's gonna be the rub yes. So, as I just enjoy my base a bit, yes, hopefully you join me very, very soon indeed for that. But in the meantime, I've been John, this has been many a true nerd, and this has been Subnautica. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Jebediah Kerman has not exploded. Oh shit. When did that happen? Five, four, three. Oh, I forgot to turn the thrust on. Five, four. Is everything else? How is everything? Up to that point, that was going better than anyone expected.